Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine. In today's vlog, we are in the beautiful country of Switzerland, where we're gonna be exploring two of the most beautiful villages that Switzerland has to offer. Stay till the end of this video to enjoy some beautiful scenery. Morning, guys. So we're here in Switzerland, and this is our Airbnb. As you can see behind me. Let me turn the camera around. Today is a beautiful day. And we're going to be going to the beautiful side of Interlaken here in Switzerland. This is the Airbnb. This is the bedroom. It's a little bit of mess because I didn't make the bed. And we have a kitchen and everything, which is great. Okay, guys. So this is the kitchen. Pretty spa spacious, which is great. And that's the hallway there. And that's our bedroom in there. So I want to talk about um, the, like, you know, being on a budget here in Switzerland. So what we've been doing a lot is that we've been um, just buying food at the grocery store. I'll show you guys real quick here in the fridge. Look at this fridge. It's hidden. So pretty much for all these things that we have here, we paid about uh, 40 euros and it's provided us with breakfast and lunch and i'm gonna make dinner when we come back and the reason why we've been doing that is because food here in switzerland tends to be a little bit expensive like a lot so we we do plan on going out to eat because i've always liked to show you know like options for restaurant i'm gonna try to find a budget-friendly restaurant and um, show it to you guys obviously and we're definitely you know going to do the fondue thing which technically i heard it can be quite expensive here maybe about 30 euros a person but the reason why i want to do it is because come on we're in switzerland that's like the homeland for fondue so we're going to do the fondue one day and the rest of the times we're, we're going to be cooking here making breakfast that's a big way to save um yesterday we basically didn't uh spend hardly any money we went to that beautiful waterfall as you guys saw so we didn't spend any money and i think we went to a restaurant i didn't record it because i had a very low battery um so i think we got some fries and a meat platter the fries were uh, about nine euros and the meat platter i think nathaniel uh, took some pictures if he did i'll put them up right here and we got the meat platter so the meat platter was uh 19 euros which is not too bad either and he had a drink like a or like a pineapple drink and that wasn't too expensive either and we got an ice cream which was incredible amazing i'm not surprised because the milk out here is delicious and um yeah so we all we did uh, that we spent yesterday was just the groceries which is gonna feed us for the next four days and then the uh the dinner that we had last night that's pretty much it and we hardly we didn't spend much just about that so we're gonna see how we can find ways to save today and we're going to interlocking like i was saying and from for that you might want to splurge a little bit because you know taking the gondola all the way to the top to get those views that's gonna be you know like it's not gonna be free so we'll see how much it is and i'm gonna show it to you guys and see how we can save so i can you know so you guys can see how there's a way to save when coming to Switzerland. Ich ändere sehr oft mein Ziel und manchmal wird's mir zu viel. Doch was ich ganz sicher will, bist du. So manche Verstehe ich nicht und anderes interessiert mich nicht. Doch was ich ganz sicher will, bist du. Meine kleine Welt ist mal rot, ist mal blau. Ich mal sie mir jeden Tag neu. Farben kommen und Farben Ich weiß ganz genau, dass ich mich jeden Tag aufs Neue freue. Denn auch wenn alles bricht, dann weiß ich, es bricht mich
So my first impressions on Grindelwald is that it is a beautiful place to come to. It is number one on the list when you see when you look up things to do in Switzerland. Coming to Grindelwald, beautiful. As you can see, it has beautiful mountain peaks. It's surrounded by mountain uh, peaks with snow snow caps on top. The village is so beautiful. It has a very uh, German influence, and that's because in Switzerland. This side, the side of uh, Interlaken, the Jungfrau region, is very German influenced. So you'll see a lot of the houses that look very German. And they, there's also a lot of hotels and a lot of people choose to stay in Grindelwald, but it can be quite pricey. What we did to save because we can't afford to stay in Grindelwald was that we stayed an hour and a half away. So, you know, we have the car, we were able to drive, and this was good enough for me to see it being here a couple of hours and enjoying the beautiful views that Grindelwald has to offer. Another thing that Grindelwald has to offer is that it has uh, a gondola that you can take up to Grindelwald first, but we decided to take the gondola somewhere else. So I recorded this uh, chocolate store in Grindelwald because I wanted you guys to see the prices on souvenirs and chocolate. And you can see it's quite affordable, it's nothing crazy. Our second stop is Lotterbrunnen, one of the most beautiful villages in the world due to its beautiful little houses, German style, and the beautiful waterfall that it has coming off on the side of a cliff. Hey guys, so we are in Lottenbrunnen, as you can see the waterfalls. This place is very famous for having a beautiful little village and you can see the waterfalls from the village, it's very pretty. Um, so we decided to stop first in Grindelwald and then make our way down to uh, Lottenbrunnen, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, and in Interlaken we're going to go to Hardorkam to be able to go up in the gondola. We were gonna do that in Grindelwald, but I decided that we had to pick one. Either Grindelwald first, where you take the gondola, or in Hardercombe, which is an interlocking. Hardercombe looks way more beautiful to me, just my opinion. It looks so beautiful, both are beautiful, but to me, the Hardercombe just was, from the pictures that I saw, I had a beautiful blue lake, and that is something so extraordinary, and I really wanna see that, so that's what we're gonna do. So right now we're gonna record, do a little drone footage here in um, Lattenbrunnen, and then we'll continue our way into Hottercom and Hottercom, some hard names, and in Interlocking, and then take the gondola there and catch beautiful sights. So beautiful over here, guys. Lotterbrunnen is a village in the municipality of Interlaking, and this whole area is known as the Jungfrau region. And Lotterbrunnen is known for its beautiful cliff waterfalls, beautiful mountain peaks, and a lot of people choose to stay here overnight, but it does come with a price tag because it is one of the most beautiful villages that you will see in Switzerland. So I highly recommend that you stay an hour and a half away if you are on a very tight budget 
just like we did and we decided to just drive here and it wasn't far oh guys and we got to see a beautiful bride taking her pictures on her wedding day i guess this is very popular to do in switzerland come and take your beautiful pic wedding pictures here So I wanted to record for you guys um, a budget-friendly place that you can get something to eat in Lauterbrunnen. As you can see, the price tag, it looks very cheap for a lot of stuff. For yogurt, no more than $2.60. Uh, for the cheeses, it was a lot cheaper. Five euros. Th th there was a lot of stuff. Even for fondue, if you want to do fondue, 10. Actually, these are 10 francs. I didn't do the conversion because in francs, it's very similar to in dollars. So the only money we spent today was on a coffee, $6, and for lunch, $10.